the social political groups, the Ohanese, Indigbo, and Afeniferi have asked the federal government to take advantage of COVID-19 pandemic to restructure the country, saying Nigeria is currently operating at an illegal constitution imposed on the people by the military. Dr. John Wodo, elder state man, shared the same opinion and further stated that the Nigerian electoral system was the most corrupt and the judiciary the most compromised. Joining us to discuss this, still in the studio with us, is political technocrat Dr. Dio Kaode and also Yinka Dumakin, spokesman for the Afeni Ferre via phone. Thank you, Dr. Dio, for staying with us still. It's my and pleasure. thank you for joining us, Mr. Dumakin, and how are you doing this evening? My pleasure. Now, the Hohanese and the Afeni Ferre have asked the federal government to take advantage of the coronavirus pandemic to restructure the country. What areas would you say are in dire need of the restructuring? I'll go with you first, Mr. Dumaki. Well, Nigeria at the moment is supporting a dysfunctional arrangement. We're supposed to be a federal constitution, but we are only a unity system. Everything they consider in Abuja, or we are there only on oil and gas which is coming to a com coma close. At the moment, our, when you go to our constitution, all mineral resources are considered in the exclusive list, which means the states, which are different, you cannot touch them. And you saw what happened immediately the pandemic started. That even some states were asking Abuja to go and open as well as a center for them. The health minister, no, the Secretary of the government confessed on national television that I was not aware that our health system is that bad. Ordinary visitors, many states don't have any, and the highest minister who have is five. As, as it is today, only God save us that the pandemic did not break out at the level at which the U.S. and other places are having. And even at that, you can see actually helpless that we are as a country. We can't continue like this. We must instruct Nigeria. We must go back to federalism and ensure that certain units are in charge of their resources under their soil. They are able to mine them and pay a uh taxes to the center to maintain minimal uh, services. At the present, where the, Ab the Abuja, then 62% of our earnings is not healthy enough. And you cannot go on like that. If the president cannot go to say, oh, I'm issuing executive order, I have guaranteed autonomy. The era of running Nigeria from Abuja is gone forever. And I will see that that is often affecting our security system in every area today. We are lacking, and that's why we are saying that we must, we have this little window to go back to federalism. All right, Mr. Otumake, they, they also said Nigeria yes. is operating an illegal constitution foisted on the people by the military. Do you share the same opinion on this? And if yes, what reasons do you think our leaders have kept these laws? Well, the current constitution that we have in Nigeria is not autochthonous. It's not a constitution agreed to by the people. As at the time uh, Abbas Nujo was sworn in in 1999, there was no clean copy of that constitution. Therefore, what we have is a constitution that's imposed by a decree, and, and that's not the constitution that Nigerians will call theirs. We are asking for a constitution that's autochthonous, that Nigerian people we agree to, promulgate not a constitution that will be imposed on the country like the present constitution. So the reason why the present constitution is uh, illegal is because it's a, it's a lie when it says we the people, because we the people did not approve this constitution. All right. Dr. Calder, do, do you agree with Dr. D uh, Mr. Dumake there, and when, especially when he said every federating unit should be allowed to be in charge of their resources. I need your thoughts quickly to a few things he said. Yeah, you see, that resource control, let me put it by the side for now, or which I will say come back to. You see, the way they have been going about this issue of restructuring, 
I could see some kind of faulty steps right from the onset. What, what are we looking at self? Is it restructuring? Or, or federalism? Or republican? Or even, like some of them have been saying, to your tent, O Israel. You see, you, you, we, need, we need to put things straight in proper perspective. Let us really know where we are heading to. Afeni uh, Ferry, Ohanese, Yoruba World Council, uh, Igbo, whatever. Which one are we even going for? Do you understand? So, if you look at all these things, if you put them together, you will know that there are some hidden agenda from those people promoting each of these things. If there is no hidden agenda, why can't we bring, put these things together in one perspective and then follow it up? Because there is no how when you dissipate energy that you'll be able to move around. It's just like this. I'm the only one talking now. Okay? My voice is audible, but will not be as audible as when myself, yourself, your cameraman, we're all talking together. All right? What, 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 so yeah, what I'm, listen, so what I'm opinion, saying is... What, what, is, what is important what for I'm us saying, to know? Listen, yes. what I'm saying is... What I'm saying is... Okay, the Constitution, yeah. uh, federalism, resource control. When I was reading all these things, this man also spoke too. Mimiko spoke. Mimiko had been in the executive for a while. Mimiko was once the, 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 the governor of, uh, of uh, Ondo State. At that time, what did he do? As the governor of Ondo State, with your members of House of Assembly, with your members in the, in the federal legislature, Ondo, the same thing. And there are a whole lot of them there. When they were, when they were, when they were having executive pass, what did they do? But my own, my own take is this. My own take is this. There is no doubt about it. We need resource control. Okay? Secondly, I wouldn't want them to be saying our constitution is faulty. It is not about the constitution. It is about those who that are operating it. Mimiko was once operating that constitution in his state. What did he do there? We won't know the same thing. What did he do there? But the call for the and review of the constitution has been long before are, now. We and, are and talking many about, people have we blamed. are talking about review of the constitution. Yes. There is no how you review that constitution. When the operators are selfish, when the operators are thinking of themselves, when the operators are garrulous, the constitution will see continue to be faulty. Uh, let me go to Mr. So all we here. need to yes. do, all we need to do is we have to first of all look at the hegemonic structure of our political system. Not until when we're able to do that, whereby you don't have uh, brigands controlling, controlling us. It is only then that we can have a forgery. Mr. Uh, Mr. Dumaki, are you, are you there? Yes. Now, now there have been several calls for, yeah, there have been several calls for restructuring. This is not the first time it, where you're hearing such calls. Especially since the, the President Mahmoud Buhari won his second term in power in 2019. Calls have been made by journalists, politicians, elder statesmen, and so on. But in your opinion, has the administration of President Buhari restructured or maybe even begun the restructuring of any sector in Nigeria so far? Well, I think the President's uh, government, when they are campaigning, they promise to restructure Nigeria back into federalism. So for anybody to say that uh, he does not, not understand what federalism means or what restructuring means, restructuring, she, there is no confusion or someone saying that uh, there is restructuring, there is federalism. Restructure is nothing but go back to federalism. We got independence on the basis of federalism. And you cannot run the country like this on, 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 on this of federalism. You saw how people don't this code even in America. When President Trump started saying that, oh, we want to exercise absolute power over America, the government, the young told him, no, this is federalism. You are, a, you are a president, you are not a king. We settled this, this thing before we gave independence. So, for, so there, there was no confusion about federalism. That you have tears of government and you cannot continue to run a country like Nigeria on the basis of Unitary arrangement 
running everything from Abuja. No confusion about it. If you want progress for this country, you have to do that. Dr. And Dr. about what is going on now in Nigeria at the moment, how on, my, on earth can anybody rationalize all that has been going on in this country in the last five years? The call for, for restructuring predates President Buhari, but I, but I must say that President Buhari and the APC themselves, they can pay for restructuring. It was only after they got power that they said they don't understand what, what it means anymore. And we are telling them what it means just to go back to federalism, and there's no confusion about that. All right, now, before, before I let you go, I, um, Mr. Odumaki, yes. the, the former governor of Ondo State, Dr. Mimiko, also stated that if the country must be kept together, that there was a need to restructure. Do you share this opinion, and, and do you see trouble, maybe likely uh, like a civil war, for instance, in the narrow street of Nigeria, if the so-called restructuring doesn't take place? Well, I think the, the, the former governor is spoke right. And uh, the gentleman that was asking that, what did you could do as governor? Go to Ondo State. In eight years, Mimiko built 54 mega schools. And I, I, I don't think that even the federal government in the last five years can boast of those 54 mega schools around Ondo State. So the question of restructuring call it's not about something says or what somebody do in office. If you if you if you go around and say you will see what people uh, uh, did and he has made the right call by learning his voice. And it's not just not as finished. He has always come as governor. It's always calling for society in Nigeria. Now, now, lastly and quickly, if you will. Now, or what, what, when we talk about restructuring, or what lines? Are we, are we envisaging this restructuring, if you will? What, what lines should this restructuring, be, this restructuring be carried out? Quickly, sir. So, it's, it's clear. It's a lot of fact that we, we, we have the central government, we have the units. They are not subordinate. It's not as if the governors of the state are uh, appointed of the president who are going to report to him. No. The exercise powers and influence, sheer powers and resources. So the line of the structure is very clear that there are sheer powers between the central government and the federal unit, and they all exercise the powers in their resolutive domains. That's the only we are calling for. Mr. Yiko Duma King, spokesperson at Fanny Ferry, thank you for joining us on Plus Politics and for your contribution, as always. My pleasure. Now, the, the line of restructuring needs to be made clear to Nigerians. I mean, yes, there's so we, much clamor about that. that. I will so do that now. Let, let's let's burn on that for a minute. Yes, yes, I want to do that, seriously speaking. You see, and and are we, are we come up with this line of restructuring with open mind. I don't belong to either Afeni Ferry or, or Hanese or, 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 or whatever. But somebody like me, I have been saying it. Is it even restructuring we need or remodeling the country? There are two different things. And have, you now, want to the issue to the now is this. Yes. Now, the issue is this. You were asking him now, on what lines was he expecting that restructuring? Yes. He was talking about our constitution is faulty. He was, he was talking about resource control. Yes, resource control. Federated units, yes. But now, let me now, let, even let's Are you against resource control? By, by oh, no way. I okay. want it. Okay. Resource control is one of it. Yeah. But the most important, the most important is about the kind of people that is controlling the political structure. And you don't, think the, the you, don't, you don't think the review of the constitution is also one of, mm, one of those even, resource, even restructuring issue, that should happen? If you go and bring the best constitution from anywhere, eh, and you don't have people that has vision to, 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 to work with that constitution, that constitution will still be faulty. Do you understand? Now, even look at what the president just did. Is it not part of restructuring? Ensuring that the letters of constitution is being followed. The devolution of it, power. It, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. In terms of giving a judiciary and the local the, government the and the legislature, financial autonomy is part of it. I'm not saying we cannot get better. We can get better. But when we are, when we are agitating, let us always agitate with one voice, without 
without any hidden agenda. See, people are even getting confused, especially with the Southwest. Afrin Ifere is saying this. Uh, YWC, Yoruba World Council, they have, they have just been admitted now into uh, UMPO. Do you understand? And they even say they can force flag. That is secession. So is it secession you want or restructuring? Or you want or you want true federalism? Do you get? So not until when we all drop our different idiosyncrasies. But is true federalism achieved without a restructuring? Is it possible to have true federalism no, without that, a restructuring? That's what I'm saying. Yes. You, know, you know those people talking about restructuring? Yes. They are now saying restructuring, under restructuring is true federalism. And that's why I said, is it, is it true, for, I mean, is it restructuring we are really looking at or remodeling or recalibrating? It's not about restructuring. Do you get, look at this your building now. You say you want to restructure this place. What do you want to restructure there? It will still be, it's still the same foundation. You have to start from, who is even saying our name should be Nigeria? Have they been talking about who is saying our name? The meaning of Nigeria is very close to Niger area. I'm an Ekiti man. Is Ekiti close to Niger area? No. Uh, Mr. Tukata, you need to wrap up your, your is, is, now. is Nigeria supposed to even be our name? Those are the things we need to look at. Not just talking of, not until when we drop our various idiosyncrasies and then come together with one purpose. Because if you don't have one purpose, this one is going this way. That Which one is going this way. What, 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 what should be the purpose? What should be that one purpose? The purpose is one Nigeria built on equity, justice, and then freedom, where everybody will be able to exercise his or our potentialities without any Political hindrance. technocrat, Dr. Dio Kaudi, thank you for your time with us on Plus Politics tonight. We'll take our Plus report now, and when we return, I'll be giving you my take. Stay with us. The governors of the Southeast state have rejected the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Abubakar's guideline of community policing in the region. Speaking after a closed-door meeting at the government house in Ugo, the governors charged the five state houses of assembly to commence enactment of state security laws that will give legal backing to establishment of regional security in line with his joint security program for the zone. On community policing, eh? The recent communication from the Inspector General of Police to our governors of Southeast on community policing composition is not in keeping with the agreement we reached with him during his last visit to the Southeast. In the circumstance, we cannot begin implementation of it until the program reflects our earlier agreement with the IGP. The Southeast governors and their leaders request the IGP to please revert to our initial agreement reached on community policing here in Enugu. B, the forum agreed that all Southeast states houses of assembly should commence the process of enacting the state security laws in line with the Southeast Joint Security Program. On rejigging the economy, a meeting agreed to set up committees in our various states, working with federal government, World Bank, CBN, and the NSIA in their various programs lined up to rejig the economy, especially in areas of agriculture, SME, and solid minerals. B meeting agreed to hold a virtual meeting with the group MD of NMPC on the issue of linking our Southeast state capitals with gas pipeline alongside with the pipeline program of federal government of Nigeria, which is running from Imo State to Lagos State. Four, Ndibo Stabilization Fund. The meeting agreed that Ohaneze do submit a working document in our next meeting on setting up of Southeast Stabilization Funds for Ndibo. And this is my take. I believe the new Executive Order 10 will ensure a balanced federation with distribution of powers. And this will grant financial independence to the judiciary and accord it with the notion of separation of powers. More importantly, the order will go a long way in consolidating democracy and strengthening the independence of the judiciary and the legislature at the state level. 
While such an executive order demonstrates the federal government's will to facilitate the implementation of the new constitutional provision, I want to urge the state legislature to work in line with the provisions of the Constitution and not to abuse the new powers granted them by the President under the new Executive Order 10. No doubt, this order will further make state legislatures independent of the executive arm of their various governments. It will also boost healthy competitions among state legislatures in pursuit of advancement and development. It is not enough to grant financial autonomy to the judiciary, but also to ensure compliance with the rule of law through full and complete obedience to all orders and decisions of the court. And as regards restructuring, a lot of people and stakeholders have called for it. Some of them are the Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, former presidential candidate Kingsley Mogalu, former president Lucia Gobasanjo, former head of state General Yakubu Gowan, even Niger Delta agitators. To these people, I ask, what exactly do you mean by restructuring? Because the truth of the matter is restructuring is of different forms and can take different shapes. I too call for restructuring, but I ask for one which will make Nigeria great again, on which will make our leaders more accountable to what they do when they're in office, one that will enable our citizens to proudly stand their ground among the citizens of other nations and say they are from Nigeria. It is true that a lot of systems are failing in Nigeria even before the pandemic began. An instance is the epileptic electricity supply Nigerians still experience in 2020. I desire that our leaders listen to this cause, but I hope that they carry out these expressed wishes with the restoration of Nigeria's glory in mind. And that's my take. Thank you for staying with us. More interesting conversations on PLOS Politics returns tomorrow evening, same time. Have a great evening. My name is Benny Ark.